Hi, everybody. It is Thursday, the 23rd of March. Um, first off, I had a great time yesterday with Kenny Aronoff doing his podcast. Um, I look forward to seeing that all edited and uh, and how, how it comes off. But it, we did that, and then we sat for another hour, and that's when I filmed him. And uh, I'm really pleased with the response of that. I'm going to I'm going to try to do as many of the players when I'm together with them as I can just so that you can get to know the players a little bit better. You know, the artists always get a lot of press, but the players that work on their records uh, are generally um just you know, background, uh, their wallpaper. <laughs> People don't really know much about them and their history. And uh, and they're it, they're deep. These all the guys I and gals I work with are are just there. Are the, they are the the best there is in this business. And uh, so I want to share as much of that as I possibly can with you. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, Saturday. Is back to my FaceTime and Skype one on ones again. So I'm excited about that. A lot of people have signed up, so it's going to be a nice full day uh, with everybody. And uh, I was just thinking about some, some other projects, and uh, I came across the one I'm going to show you now. Sorry, just trying to get comfortable here. Uh, the sky is some blue sky showing through, so it's kind of nice outside right now, not uh, dealing with rain for the moment. I think there's going to be some rain next week, but right now it looks like it's going to be a somewhat clear through the weekend, fingers are crossed. And uh, yesterday... A tornado hit in Los Angeles. Um, I, th I, can't, I can't remember if it was Montebello or one of the one of the communities, but I mean it was a funnel cloud, tore roofs off buildings, um, and caused a lot of damage. I mean that is a freak experience out here. That just does not happen. But uh, boy, it did happen. So <laughs> things are different. Um, but today I'm going to go visit a, a, a dear friend of mine, uh, and a fabulous musician, and that is the guitarist Grant Geisman. I'm going to read you a little bit about Grant. But when I was doing, uh, I've done a, a bunch of gigs with Van Dyke Parks, and we would do those as a trio. And it was always Van Dyke on keyboards, myself on bass, and Grant on guitar. And we've been everywhere from Graz, Austria to Tokyo together. And Grant is just an exceptionally great guitarist, wonderful musician. So I'm going to read a little bit here, and then I'm going to tell you about this track, and then play you a track that we did. Grant Geisman was born April 13th, 1953, and is an American jazz guitarist and Emmy-nominated composer. He has recorded extensively for several labels since 1976 and played guitar on the theme for Monk and other TV shows. Uh, born in Berkeley uh, and grew up in San Jose, when he was 11, Grant began his first guitar lesson with his private teacher, Mrs. Allen. After his private tutor was com uh, completed, he began taking guitar lessons from local musicians. It lists all these different people that, that he worked with. After graduating from Prospect High School, uh, Geisman attended De Anza College, where he played uh, in both De Anza's jazz band and the Daddy-O Band an of older professionals. Uh, both were led by jazz ed educator uh, Herb Patino, I believe is how he pronounces it, who was the director of Stan Kenton's jazz clinics. Uh, since the Kenton band at the time had no guitar player, Patino recommended Geisman uh, to teach at Kenton's summer clinics, both in Sacramento and in Southern California. While teaching at these clinics for several summers, Geisman first met and played with drummer Peter Erskine and pianist Dan Harrell. Uh, in 1973, Geisman moved to L.A. and attended one semester at Cal State Fullerton, where he played in the band led by pianist and clarinetist Tom Rainier. Uh, transferring to Cal State Northridge, which was my alma mater, even though I didn't graduate, but I was there for five years. Transferring there in 1974 to be closer to the Hollywood studio scene, Geisman joined the Northridge A band led by jazz ed educator Joel Leach. While at Northridge, he began playing in both Gerald Wilson's big band and Louis Belson's big band, recording several albums with Belson. For Louis Belson's Live at the Concord Summer Festival, Geisman contributed an original composition, Starship Concord. He began playing in local jazz venues with uh, Tony Rizzi's guitar band, recording Tony Rizzi's Five Guitars Plays Charlie Christian, which featured Tom Rainier and Pete Chrisley. Um, 
Geisman's first, uh, Geisman's first gig was flugelhornist Chuck Mangione was at the Santa Monica Civic Auditorium, November 8, 1976. A short tour of the Pacific Northwest followed, and soon after, Mangione asked Geisman to become a permanent member of his band. Mangione's band consisted of Geisman on guitar, Charlie Meeks on bass, Chris Vidala on woodwinds, and James Bradley on drums. Geisman appeared on the album Feel So Good, which sold two million copies. On the radio, the single Feel So Good featured uh, Geisman's guitar solo, which is really one of those guitar solos that guitarists are always going, oh man, Grant Geisman on Feel So Good, unbelievable. Uh, his guitar solo, it was an international hit in 1980, uh, issue of Current Biography, called it the most recognized tune since Michelle by the Beatles. Uh, in 78, he released his first solo album, Good Stuff, um, and it, uh, it featured uh, fellow uh, Northridge alumnus Gordon Goodwin on sax, Tom Rainier on piano, Bob Magnuson on bass, and Steve Schaefer on drums. Grant left Mangione's band in 81 to pursue other endeavors, including his own albums, session work, and composing. Two of his albums, Flying Colors and Time Will Tell, reached number one on the Gavin and Radio and Records Contemporary Jazz Airplay charts, and many of his recordings reached the top ten. Um, Geisman has been a regular member of Gordon Goodwin's Big Fat Band. He appeared as a session musician on albums by Peter Allen, Sheila E., Mickey Howard, Quincy Jones, Rodney Friend, Diana Schoer, uh, Van Dyke Parks, Luis Miguel, amongst so many others. Uh, Keiko Matsui, uh, a whole bunch in here. Um, let me see. He reunited with Mangione in 2000 when they recorded the album Everything for Love. Greisman's early musical uh, career influences came full circle in 2003 when he played Dobro on Ringo Starr's Ringo Rama album. In 2006, he released his 13th album as a leader, Say That, and on his own label, Futurism Records. Um, and there's a whole bunch that goes into all the stuff he's done on, on television. Um, he's, he's played on Dawson's Creek, Family Affair, Boy Meets World, Touched by an Angel, Lizzie McGuire. Um, oh, God, so many here. Uh, in 2003, he was nominated for the Annie Award, producing Van Dyke Park songs for HBO's Herald and the Purple Crayon. He has written additional music for films and television movies, including... The Ponder Heart, Call Me Claus, uh, Monday Night Mayhem, Die Mommy Die, and the Mojo Cafe. Um, but he, one of the main things for him was he was the co-writer on the TV show Two and a Half Men. Uh, the TV show's theme, co-written by Geisman, was nominated for an Emmy in 2004. Now, beyond that... Here, oh, here it says it. Apart from his musical career, Geisman has written three books for Mad Magazine and EC Comics, Collectibly Mad, Tales of Terror, the EC Comics Companion, and, uh, uh, and Foul Play of the Arts and Artists of Notorious 50s EC Comics. He has compiled and, uh, and or written annotations for 10 other Mad-related books. He's appeared in Chip Shelby's documentary, Tales from the Crypt, the comic books to television. In 2011, Geisman teamed with Russ Cochran to launch a publishing company, GC Press, to continue the hardcover EC Archives series originally published by Gemstone. He's also like one of the great authorities on the Beatles, um, but his, his books are beautiful. I mean, they're big hardcover coffee table books that are just spectacular. So it's great that he's had, you know, the, the career in music, but he's also had this career in, in, in books and publishing. So that's, that's great. So that's Grant Geisman there. So I'm going to go here now. Now we did this album called Bop Bang Boom in 2012. I worked on this with him. There's a whole bunch of different guys on this one. Uh, let me see if it's got anything here. I'm going to play this song because there's a whole bunch of different guys that have played on this, on the track that I did with him. It's called Take Your Time. And it's myself on bass, um, Dennis Brown and Chuck Lorre also on guitar, the great Mike Finnegan on, um, on uh, Hammond on this B3, and then Dennis Brown also on harmonica. Um, I think Ray Brinker was the drummer on this. 
And um, Emilio Palame was keyboards. Um, I think percussion on this was probably Alex Acuna. But uh, this is re really a fun track um, and uh, written by Grant. Let me double make sure. Take your time. Take your time. But written by Grant Geisman. Okay, here we go. This is from his album Bang, Bop, Boom from 2012. So here we go. This is really fun track. So here we go. thing.
And Ray Brinker, who was playing drums, was the drummer in Barefoot Servants with me. And I love playing with Ray. That's fun, just cruising. Just, this is, you know, just, you can just be listening to that driving down a Pacific Coast Highway on a nice day in a convertible, just cruising. So, okie dokie, I'm going to get running here. I got some stuff to take care of. I got a bunch of books to sign and take to the post office. Um, some things to drop off at UPS, and then I'm going to be working on a track for somebody, and then working on Lyle songs, because uh, we still have gigs coming up uh, in April, and uh, I want to stay on top of things. It's like when I get away from things for too long, it's got to play catch up. It's not like they're right at the front of your brain all the time, so it's good to keep run it a couple of times a week, run all these tunes just to stay as fresh as possible on it. So take good care and uh, have a wonderful day. And I will be back tomorrow. And again, looking forward to Saturday with all my one-on-ones. So till then, bye.